Hello and welcome to part 3 of the 1700 German battleship the Scharnhorst. As uh, 1700 so yep and um we were working on um section 5 in the instructions step 5 was um to do the next platform um then I suddenly realized of a bit of a problem I've come across. So, basically, I need to paint these pieces. So, the structure here that I made, that needs to be painted. And everything underneath that I need to be building up now, I need to paint. Because what I didn't realize, and the instructions weren't clear, that these black areas that you see, in the pictures on these instructions they refer to the wood deck and I didn't realize that so when I pulled open the wood decking packet and actually bought the instructions out I find that uh, there it is showing all the pieces of wood deck and where they go and amongst the places where they go is on these now this one I've already built up so there's the middle section on here I won't be able to put the wood deck and the top I won't be able to put the wood deck on that either um, so what I'll be doing is I'll be painting the painting it with my AK wood deck colors which is the same color as the wood deck I've got so not a problem um, and luckily I checked it when I did because when I started building up this part here I put these little pieces on that are part of the crane system I thought hmm that's strange there's wood decking on the base of that so when I went and checked and realized ah wood decking needs to go on that which means I can't place all the guns and all the other pieces on top of that before the wood decking goes on, otherwise the wood decking won't fit over them. So it needs to be painted first. And then that piece sits on top of this piece, which also has a lot of wood decking, which needs to be done because there's lots of things that need to be put on this as well uh, that won't go over, that the wood decking won't go over the top of while they're there so they have to, wood decking has to go down first so this has to be painted and then I skipped ahead in the instructions and I found another piece here um, which even though it doesn't have wood decking um, it still needs to be painted a different color now whether I do the wood deck tan or something else I don't know I'll have to have a look at the reference photos um, so that should cover all of the wood decking up until step seven on the super structure so yeah so i'm going to go and prime all these in the um Steinle res black I'll go and then i'll get my colors out and most likely do it the light gray all this because i want my deck to be the, a darker grey so all this superstructure here will all be the light grey okay so I'm not going to do this to now now it's late in the afternoon so I'll be doing this first thing in the morning giving this a coat um, the Steinle res dries quite quick so I'd say by in a few hours after I've painted these I'll be able to hit these with uh, with the base coat and then uh, We'll come back and see how they're looking. But uh, yeah, um, it's a shame I, I didn't see it earlier. Although, I must admit, had I have discovered this, um, 
it would have meant that I would never be nowhere near finishing this piece off yet because I would have had to spray it all before it was put together. Um, and then all the little extra pieces that I would have put on there, I would have had to hand paint like I'm going to have to with all of these. But anyway, that's the way it goes. So you, you learn, you're continuously learning. So I'll be back. I'll be back and we'll have a look and see how these are looking. Cheers. Hello, welcome back. Uh, so I'm working on step five at the moment. Um, those other parts I've painted. So let's have a look at these. So the this part here is all done. Well, it's uh, undercoated anyway. You'll be able to see that. It'd be pretty hard. It's black and anyway. So that's in a black Steinol res uh, primer. So that's that, and then I've done the platform you would have seen earlier. That's been painted, and the one that goes on top of that is this one here. It'll be like that. Also painted, and and then I jumped a step because I knew I'd have to paint it. So uh, there was uh, this one here, which is uh, another piece that's for the next step. So I've painted that up. You be able to see that. And then, of course, we've got the, the ship itself. There it is. There's, uh, Decks all undercoated, and uh, sides all done. That came up nice. I had a bit of a problem with um, my airbrush. This uh, Steinol Res is quite a thick primer, and you usually don't need to put any thinners in it. Um, I use airbrush thinners, which are the Vallejo one. And um, I would maybe put in just 10%. Anyway, I started spraying and I thought, what's going on? And it was just, it would spray nicely for a little while and then it would just clog up and there was nothing coming out. But oh, and I checked and looked inside the little, where the paint is and there's air bubbles, a few air bubbles in there. So... You know, I added some more thinner, probably about 20% thinner, 30% thinner. And still the same. It was just not coming out properly, you know. And anyway, I managed to get through it okay. Um, well, fine, it's come up really nice, no problem. Um, but what I realised it was, was that um, I changed the needle in my airbrush to 0 0.2 from 0 0.5, which I was using on the bigger 1200 Arizona. Uh, knowing this would be a smaller model, I went to the smallest needle. And that's the problem with the Steinol Res was too thick for that needle and it was causing it not to come out properly. So... Uh, Anyway, I, I managed to undercoat them all without a problem, but uh, now I'm thinking once I start using these colours, these AK um, colours here, uh, I'll, um, these should be okay. So these you've got to thin anyway, 50-50, so these shouldn't have any problem going through that smaller needle. Uh, we'll see what happens. Now I've also decided on the colours I'm going to use, so um, the dark grey, which is this one here, I'm going to use this for the side of the ship, but also this side, this ship has a bit of camouflage um, theme happening, so both at the port and the stern is a lighter grey, so for the light grey I do have a light grey, which is uh, this one in the AK. 
So I'll be using the light gray to do the front and rear uh, stern and bow for the side of the ship. Um, that is also the same color I'm going to use. Is that what I'm going to say? No, medium gray. So there's a medium gray in here. Just find where that is. Medium. So there it is. There's the medium. And that will be for the superstructure parts, the tower, and all that on top of the ship. So the medium grey is a little bit darker. I don't know how well you'll notice. Yeah, you should be able to tell. So it, it's a, the medium's a little bit lighter than the dark. And then for the uh, front uh, port and starboard, I'll get that right, on the sides of the ships will be much lighter grey, which is that one there. Um, and that will also be on the tops of the two main turrets as well, the lighter one. And uh, the deck area, even though it's wood deck, all the little bits and pieces that stick through the wood deck will be in this medium grey, the same as the superstructure, which means that I will be spraying the top of this medium grey so that all those little pieces that are all sticking up will be all sticking through the wood deck that goes over the top and they'll be a medium grey so they should stand out well in comparison to the, the darker grey that'll be on the side so anyway that that's that's the plan now at the moment i'm working on these really tiny little well everything is really tiny and little but particular ones I've got to build four of these a part of step five I build four of these little guns here like the anti aircraft guns um, two will be used on the decks I've just painted now um, and two are used in steps I think back in forward in step 10 or so they go on the deck somewhere so I'll build those up and then I'll working be working on towards um, step six these I painted two hours ago. I'm going to give it another two hours and I'll do the base coat. Base coats on them. And then those base coats will stay till tomorrow. Because another thing I'll need to do is mask up the waterline mark, which is along the bottom here. Uh, well, what I'll do is I'll mask up the ship above that waterline. And then uh, I'll give it a, a quick spray of black. And, uh, and that'll be that easily done. All right. All right. So, yeah, so I'll keep going on this. Uh, there's some other superstructure parts that I'll uh, start work on in step six. Because most of these smaller pieces that are going to be put on here well oh, actually once that paints dry um, tomorrow I'll be able to put the wood decking down on those and possibly the wood deck could go down on the actual ship itself too so yeah I may be able to get the wood deck down on here already too tomorrow all right Okay, so back shortly and we'll see where I'm at. Cheers. Okay, so it's a quite slow and tedious progress at the moment. Building up all the different steps and all the individual pieces that I can't actually put on the main structures yet because I have to paint and put the decks down. So... Uh, but there is one little section here I've managed to do that this is the final colour, which is the uh, medium grey. Uh, see how you can see, if you can see that. So the little shine on those binoculars there is just a gunmetal grey showing up. Um, the white spot on the back doesn't matter there's a piece going on top of that but you can see how doing the dark Steinal res undercoat already because i put the base coat of 
medium gray on there you can already see the lines in the floor if you can see that clearly I'll try and get that up um, and it's just accent accentuates the the color uh, and the look just a little bit so it doesn't give it that flat look get that yeah So that's one piece, as you can see. It's got the, like, the tile shapes. That's not meant to have wood decking, that, so that's okay. Uh, it will go on to this piece. Let's sit on the front there. Obviously, I've got to paint this next. I've put on a couple of little bits on the side here uh, that can go on. There's a little platform that comes out with some stairs that go there, but I can't put them on yet because that would interfere because this goes on the deck itself and I have to do the wood decking on that. So, uh, like I say, I'm going to get the, the paint once this the, uh, the primer coat is dry in there. Um, I'll get in there and do the base coat on the ship. Uh, I haven't got it with me at the moment, but I'll do the whole deck area the medium grey that the wood deck will go over uh, I've sort of looked at the side of the ship and how I'm going to work out the camouflage part of that and I'll do my best covering what the instructions have on here it does look quite good you can see here we've got the light grey at the port and then the starboard has light grey as well so I'll do that, and then we've got the dark grey all the way along, and then there's a medium grey centre. So I'll mask off all that, and I'll get all those colours happening on that. Um, there's also the black water line, which will be the last thing I'll probably do. Um, I don't think I'll carry on the greys up into the superstructure areas. I think that's just going to be too... Too complicated and just too hard. I, like I said, it's my first one seven hundred model build, and it's just so tiny. So I'm not going to be trying to get it exact, but I'll do what I can. Maybe just do the turrets in the colours, in the shades, and the camouflage to suit. Um, so yeah, it's it's coming along, and uh, I'll. Um, continue continue with this and yeah so step six is what I've just completed including that little top piece you just saw I'll paint this and again um, hopefully we'll get some decking down tomorrow after some base coats are done and then step six, we move on after that to one of the turrets on here, which um, doesn't seem to be in any step. It's sort of between step six and seven, which is unusual. Oh, strange that is. But it goes on in step seven, the turret goes down and these pieces go down. So these have to be built. So, yeah, I'll go on and start building the turrets and whatever that is, and continue on and uh, build up my little collection as they are slowly building up in their containers here. Okay, back shortly. Okay, welcome back. And um, like I said, previous part of um, I was doing that turret which there was only one of there it is there clear with the photo with the brass barrels in it so it's all ready to be painted up uh, now that uh, so now from from doing after that I've as you can see here I've got some of the decking out some of these pieces I've painted up 
and before I can add anything else to it, I need to put the decking down. So here's a piece here that I've put the decking on. Only really small, but it went on quite well. So now I'll be able to put the a couple of guns, I think, in there and the other bits and pieces. And this actually sits on top of this piece I've got here, um, which sits in that square. Actually, got that glued down. Oh, there we go. Glue tack down. It fits in that square there, but there's decking around the outside of that and in there as well to go down. And that is, and then this will sit down on top of it like that. Well, actually, the other way around. It'll sit in there like that. So little bits and pieces come together. So the decking for that is on this sheet here. And just check a second. Okay, so so that if we go on top of that will be this piece in the middle here. Um, so what I'll do is it just presses out mostly. See, just all just presses out. Um, but I still got to be a little bit careful. There's a few little areas in there a little bit complicated that are going to go in on here. So I'll press that out and then I'll stick it down and then I can continue. There's some guns and all sorts of bits and pieces to go in on this and then that can be placed on the top. And that's little bits of decking I'm gradually getting through. I've painted painted the um, the section that this all this sits on and that's drying, so that'll be another couple of hours, and then I'll be able to do a bit of decking on it, and then possibly put these on top of it, Let's see about that. Uh, the ship itself, uh, I'll just go grab that and show you, one sec. Okay, so I've sprayed the deck the medium gray, ship so I've left the side it didn't matter if I got any overspray because it's all going to be painted anyway um, just try and get this set of lights good there we go so you can see that that's the grey which is the same colour as what the superstructure will be now of course all the decking goes over the top of this but it's mainly the grey was mainly to get all the little pieces that are going to be sticking through um, all these little bits and pieces here so that they're already painted because it would be impossible trying to touch them up and do them with the decking on so yeah so that's come up nice and uh, I like the color too that's going to look really good uh, when that's dried I'm going to probably mask the top of that because there's spots on here where I need to get a different angle. I don't want to risk overspray of what I've already done here. So, uh, and then I'll I'll mask off the camouflage, the white at either end, and there's the lighter grey. Then there's the darker grey, which will all be part of the sides of the ship. All right. So, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll keep on going. Back shortly. Hello and welcome back. Uh, I'll show you where we're at now. We've um, I've managed to get this delicate. Let's have a look at that. So we've got some cranes on there, some photo etch cables and the hooks hanging there, some stairs on the side that I've yet to paint. So it's looking quite good and uh, the wood decking is on the top of that went down well it's very small bits there so but, uh, yeah so that that's that's done Happy about that um, now I've also got a few more bits I've painted here 
will go on top of that to finish off the top of that part with. Uh, um, I've, I've been having some problems with the paint actually so what I did was I've done the camouflage on the hull here which uh, looks okay at a distance <laughs> there's a few spots that didn't go down too well um, which I'll have to touch up some of the white there's I'll show you it's overspray there or it's run under the tape uh, a few little spots of the grey here, centre here, is going to have to be touched up. Uh, but otherwise, it came up okay, but I was really, really struggling with my airbrush. Now, I don't know what the problem is. Um, I, this is the first time I've been using these AK paints. And just grab these here. So they're uh, acrylic brush and airbrush paints. Now, if you put these straight into the airbrush, it's quite thick. Uh, I wouldn't be spraying it. It needs to be thinned. Now, where I bought it from, they told me to just use my airbrush thinner. Um, it's in the other room, but that's the airbrush, the Vallejo airbrush thinner is what I would use so I've been using that and um, and I've and 50 50 was what he said so 50% thinner to 50% of the color and for some reason while I'm spraying it's coming out in it's like not splattering but the flow is being disrupted so it'll come out really smooth then and then all of a sudden the pressure will drop and it's there's hardly anything coming out and then suddenly it'll come out hard again and then and I'm trying to feather it just right to get a, a nice even flow but it's it's sort of it's going and then and then you get this it'd fade away and I'm hardly getting anything coming out and I'd play the trigger back and forwards a bit and then out come out a huge amount and it was just uneven coming out of the airbrush so I thought well what could that be um, it seemed thin enough and so what I did was I changed from a 0 0.2 needle which is what I originally wanted to use, being such a small model and small pieces to paint. I went up to a 0 0.5 um, one, which I was using on the 1200 scale Arizona. And I thought, well, a bigger needle, surely that might help. It made no difference, doing exactly the same thing. So then I thought, maybe there's an air leak. I did notice some bubbles in the here. Uh, but not much and I think I fixed that by just giving this a bit of a tight So it wasn't that um, So I changed the seals. So if we look in here There's a seal in there. It looked all right the one that was in there, but I thought well, I'll change it anyway Because I just felt that when this is screwed on and it touches the seal it tends to But you can't over tighten it. It just comes to a stop Whereas I, I'm sure I remember you could over tighten that. So I'm not sure why that's doing that. So anyway, I changed that seal. Um, there's also one on the end of the um, little hole, the needle. If I can get that off, I'll show you. So there's also a little seal in there, um, which I checked and it was fine. So I didn't bother. Now, when you put water in here and spray it, it's perfect. It sounds good. There's no bubbles. It sprays out perfectly. It's just when this paint is in there, it's not doing it. It's just it's not coming out like that. And it seems to be thin enough. So 
what I did was I changed to my Tamiya paint and just thought, well, I'll mix up a bit of Tamiya paint with the X20A thinner that I use with Tamiya paint. Give that a go. And it seemed okay. There was no, no more spluttering. It, it was okay. So what I'm going to do now is I tried to thin this even more with the airbrush thinner to the point where it was probably about 70% thinner to paint and yeah it, it might have worked I'm not sure uh, uh, I tested it up on a piece of cardboard uh, it just felt better but I don't know if it was really right I was also told you can thin this with water just plain water so next time I need to spray uh, I'm going to try it with 50-50 water and actually, um, I need to hand brush a couple of these little pieces that I've just painted because where the clamps were holding them, I could a bit of grey there. So I'll, I'll hand brush those. Uh, yeah, so hopefully the water will fix the problem. I'm, I'm sure it's not the airbrush. Pretty sure it's not the airbrush. But yeah, just getting that nice, even, nice flow coming out without it's it's sort of disappearing like the, the flow would slow down and then i'd be struggling to get paint out and then all of a sudden how to come again um, if you know what that could be please drop it in the comments uh, i've been searching youtube and i i'm not prepared to sit through a whole video on airbrushed maintenance and so forth just to find my specific problem um, there was one guy who said uh, he called it uh, not splatter but there was some name he had for it which sounded like my problem but he turned it turned out for him it was the thread the thread was damaged on here and that, that's where he was getting uh, an air leak come through and caused that to happen but there's no, that's not the problem with this. Uh, I think it might be the paint uh, and thinning it. I guess you can't thin it too much. Uh, but then I don't want it coming out like water. <laughs> so, anyway, so um, I'll call this a video and um, I'll get on to doing some more of the ship here. Uh, Few more pieces together and uh, yeah again please comment below if you've got any comments tips got any ideas what the airbrush problem might be uh, let me know um, give us a thumbs up if you like the video please subscribe and hit the notifications bell to get notified of the videos as I release them and uh, I'll see you in the next video okay cheers bye now